Everybody, welcome to Mike Goski's Kitchen. Hey, it's check-in time. You know, last week I didn't check in. Family things come up. We had athletic events that we had to go to, so I had to not check in, but I did not stop doing my thing, okay? So, here's what I want to tell you. It's been last week, no check-in. From the week before that, I've lost four pounds. That means two pounds a week, man. I'm still going. I'm still excited. I'm still having a great time. So I am down a total of four, but if you break it out, the last two weeks, that's two pounds a week, and that's about the pace I want to be at. That's the pace you should be at, too. You don't want to go too fast because the faster it goes, the faster it comes back. So let's take our time. I always said, you know, hey, it didn't take overnight to put it all on, so it's not going to take overnight to take it all off. Trust me. So anyway, moving forward, today is a wonderful day. Tomorrow is going to be Easter, but here's what we're going to do today. We're going to make a wonderful, wonderful keto-type, low-carb snack. These are called Mike Oski's Keto Kickin' Deviled Eggs. They're, they're your deviled eggs, but you're not your typical deviled eggs. They're going to be spicy. They're going to be fun. They're going to be something different, something new. Kick up those taste buds and enjoy. So if you like spicy, if you like the horseradish taste, if you like sriracha taste, and you like the eggs, and you like the deviled eggs, this one's going to be for you. And if you don't like it, find somebody who does it. you got to make these. These are really, really, really that good. And oh my goodness, are they simple. Let's get over here. Let's start working on this. But again, hey, four pounds. Last two weeks, I'll take two pounds a week. Here we go. Keep on moving. One day at a time, one meal at a time, one pound at a time. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's go and make these deviled eggs. <laughs> Mike Oski's Kitchen. My name is Michael Olszewski. I'm the chef of this kitchen, and thanks for tuning in. If you're the chef of your kitchen, good for you. Keep it going. Thanks for being here. Hey, we got a wonderful one today. Tomorrow is Easter. Okay, for, by the way, happy Easter. And to celebrate Easter, we celebrate a lot of wonderful things in Easter. Of course, the risen Lord, we, we celebrate that first and, first and primary. But we also celebrate family and time and, of course, some good food. Um, around Easter... As you know, lots and lots and lots and lots of eggs. Hard boiled eggs, they're colored, they're this, they're that, they're everything else you gotta believe. But here's the thing, we're gonna make devil eggs today, okay? So when you get all those hard boiled eggs, you're like, what am I gonna do with all these things? We're gonna make some deviled eggs and these are gonna be different than what you're used to. These aren't your typical traditional deviled eggs. These are called, what I call them, Mike Oski's, ready? Keto kicking deviled eggs. These are gonna be spicy, they're gonna be good, they're gonna be fun, they're gonna be different. So try some difference and live outside the box a little bit, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. This is called Mike Oski's Keto Kicking Deviled Eggs. Oh gosh, are they good. And they're spicy too. So here's what we're gonna put in this thing, okay? We got um, horseradish, <laughs> right? See, here we go, right? And then we have some mayo, sriracha, there's some more spice. Uh, we have some uh, ground mustard, we have some dill, pepper, salt, and of course some paprika for uh, dusting. We have some eggs. Now, on the recipe that you'll see, attached to the uh, description, I have it for a dozen eggs. I'm only making six eggs, um, so you just adjust it the way you want. And of course, some bacon. I'm using turkey bacon for this. You can use regular bacon, you can use pork bacon, doesn't matter, but I'm gonna use turkey bacon. Um, so I like it a little better, that's all. Um, I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. That's it, really no cooking. All you gotta do is boil your eggs. That's what I do with my eggs. Put them in a pot, cold water, throw them on a the stove, get it to a boil 10 minutes, get it off the stove, run cold water on it again, and let it cool off, perfect. And then bacon, you know how I do it. 400 degrees in the oven, 14 minutes, bring it right out, it's ready to go. So when we come back, we're gonna start putting this together and we're gonna make this wonderful, wonderful, I mean, you guys are gonna love this, Mike Oski's kicking, or keto kicking deviled eggs. I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. This is the easy part. We're done with all the hard part. All the, all the uh, cooking, well, it really wasn't that hard anyway. Just watch eggs boil, that wasn't that hard, was it? <laughs> so anyway, I did my bacon. Uh, nice and uh, browned out of the oven. Chopped it up into small little bite-sized pieces. Hard boiled my eggs, like I said. Throw them in cold water in a pot. Put the pot on the stove. Bring it up to a boil, 10 minutes. Bring it off the stove. Put it running under cold water and you're good to go. They peel really nicely with that way too. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and make the filling of the deviled eggs. If you guys made deviled eggs before, you know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go ahead, half the egg. And then we're just gonna go ahead and um, drop the yellows into this bowl where we're gonna to use to fill it back up with. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. 
and just go ahead and put it, it's half the egg, put it down, take out the yolk, put it in a bowl, and then um, of course with clean hands. And then we'll go ahead and get everything together here and I'll show you how to pull this together and how we're gonna put it back in the eggs. You're gonna love it, that's so easy. I'll be right back. Keep doing what you're doing on your side. We'll meet you back here when we have all our yolks in a bowl. And then we're going to mix it up and make our nice little egg filling. Right back. All right, guys. So we've taken all the yolks out of our eggs. Sitting with the halves. They're empty. They're just waiting to be filled back up again. I'm going to go ahead and slide them over here for right now. Now we're going to go ahead and put together our yolk filling. Um, here's how it goes. Oh, gosh. This is so easy. So we're going to take your mayo. And then you're gonna take your horseradish. Yes, 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 horseradish. And then you're gonna take your sriracha. Yes, yes, sriracha. You can see this thing's gonna be nice and spicy. I like spicy, do you like spicy? I like spicy. And we'll take some of our bacon, put a little bit of half in right now. At this point, we just wanna go ahead and mix all this together. Smash your eggs down. We're making up that batter that goes into those, those, um, those deviled eggs. So I'm gonna use my fork and keep just squeezing the, those eggs down and integrating everything in there as I'm going along here. One thing I'm gonna to start to do, I'm gonna add some of my other spices. So we got some dill weed. We're gonna use a teaspoon of dill. All this is gonna work in together. Teaspoon of dill. Okay, some ground mustard. Not too much ground mustard, about a half teaspoon. Cause it can be overwhelming if you don't let, if it gets a hold of you. And of course, some salt and pepper. I was gonna go by eye, but if you wanna do it, I'm looking at maybe a half teaspoon of pepper. If I just do it by eye, that looks good to me. And the same thing with the salt, about a half teaspoon. I'm gonna go by eye. There we go, perfect. Put the rest of our bacon in. Now let's just make one big final mix on this thing. And folks, that is about it. So it has a nice little red tint to it, of course, because of the, uh, if you can see that, it's because of the um, sriracha. Oh, does it look good? Oh, does it look good? I'm gonna keep mixing this up and I'm gonna show you a little trick where we're gonna do how to get this back into the egg and it makes it look pretty as well. So I'm gonna keep mixing this up and I'll, oh, my dog's barking at something, but that's okay, he's happy too. He's excited for the eggs just as much as we are. I'll see you right back here. All right, folks, we're back. Hey, we're done, just about done here with this thing. We got our batter made, we got our eggs sitting ready to go. Going, fill me up, man, fill me up. These are awesome. Here's an easy way to do it. You can certainly take a spoon and dip it in and drop it in these eggs if you want to do it that way. If you want to go a little fancy with it, I'll show you a little trick. So you take a little, uh, um, like a sandwich bag. We're gonna put all of our batter in here. This is one of a little, like a pastry trick. I'm no, believe me, I'm no, I'm no chef and I, you will, Never likely see me bake anything on this channel because I'm not a big baker. I don't like baking. Um, that's all right, I guess. I just don't like losing control of myself. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is take it, and I'm gonna take your scissors, just any kind of scissors, and it's gonna cut the edge of it, okay? So you're gonna make a little hole. At this point here, you just wanna go ahead and squeeze it out. We're gonna go in each one. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up, but I'll show you how they come out. It's really easy to do, guys. So it kind of controls how much you want to put in there rather than putting it in there. See that? I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these up, and when I come back, I'm gonna show you how these things turned out. They're good. They're gonna be good. You're gonna love them. I'll be right back. Here we are, my favorite, favorite, favorite part of the video. We get to try these. Oh, I can't wait. I can smell some um, uh, some horseradish. I can smell the sriracha. I need to smell the bacon, believe it or not. Before we do that, let's go ahead and top this thing and make it look pretty, I guess, but a little paprika never gonna hurt anything, right? So we're gonna add a little paprika onto this thing. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. I'm ready to try it. These are Mike Oski's Keto Kicking Deviled Eggs. We have sriracha, we have um, horseradish, we have bacon, we have uh, salt and pepper, we have dill, and we have some mustard, ground mustard, and oh my goodness, I can't wait. I've got to try it. This is something different. It's non-traditional, but you're going to have a whole, whole ton of eggs anyway from the holiday, from Easter. Do something with them. Be creative. Be on the edge. Think out of your bubble. 
and try something a little spicy because this is really good. I know it. Mmm. Boy, that, that is really good. I'm a big fan of um, uh, horseradish. I like spicy foods. If you like that, this is for you, okay? Actually, I could take it a little bit more spicier than this. Family's not so spicy tasting anyway, but this will, will typically fly here in this household. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Here's another awesome protein snack. You can make it so simple to do. Next time you make deviled eggs, go traditional. Try something fun. This is the fun one. This is spicy. This is good. Folks, you're going to love it. And it's simple too. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you watching and going along with me on my weight loss journey of 50 by 50. Don't have too much farther to go. We'll keep on trucking. Keep on this train. Again, thanks for being here. I love you. Be well. Happy Easter. God bless. And in my own special Polish way, you know it. Here it comes. Nastanovia.